flood is a symbol of the downpouring of truth, different perceptions and ideas pouring into the mind at a certain point in time of human evolution or the reincarnation cycle. It marks the regeneration or resurrection of the soul at the end of a cycle by the influx of knowledge. Truth and light is sent down to glorify and uplift the soul of those who have made themselves prepared to receive it. But at the same time, it submerges the lower self, the most carnal part of the individual symbolized earth. In Webster's 1828 dictionary, earth is defined as in scripture, Things on the earth are carnal, sensual, temporary things, opposed to heavenly, spiritual, or divine things. Basically, a spiritual detachment of the lower self due to higher aspirations. It's also called the deluge of the mind. In the book Works by John Bowen, volume 4, it says the inward meaning of flood is symbolically representative of spiritual disillusion, meaning detachment. On an individual level, is a separation from your lower self. On a macro level is the separation of the people that have put themselves in conjunction from those who choose to live by the ways of lies and the illusion of this world. Before Noah was Moses crossing the Red Sea, another reference to water describing the illusion and lies. This is indicated by the color red because red is the lowest vibration on the chart associated with lies and deception. In the book, The Magus, Volume 2, it says, we ought to call into remembrance the saving of Noah in the deluge of the waters and the passing of the children of Israel through the Red Sea. And also we are to mind how Christ walked on the waters. Once you do the math, you start to realize that every 3,240 years, another patriarch pops up with another story of the soul of man ascending the waters or parting the waters. Now we've reached that point now and we're going to have our own story for the future classes on earth. The flood is seen as light and knowledge and truth to those who are ready and to those opposing that it seems to them as lies and illusion because they're unprepared. In the most high universe law reigns supreme so there's always opposing forces in order to create. In the book Apocalyptic Revolution it says a flood of water is signified truths in abundance and in an opposite sense falses in abundance genesis 7 verse 18 and the waters prevailed and were increased greatly upon the earth and the ark went upon the face of the waters that means but the soul rose above the waters of illusion and floated and the truth prevail over man's lower nature all man's aspirations and ideas of his lower mind were submerged 